Zoom out here. Hello and welcome to the 2024 NBA Team Invitational Tournament from Cape Ann Lanes, Gloucester, Massachusetts. Paul Grant live on Candlepin Bowling Network. Four teams today, 142 bowlers down to four teams. We're going to feature versus two versus three, the first string, the next string, versus one versus four. They'll be bowling three strings. The winner's head-to-head -head knockout will go to the finals. There'll be a separate broadcast later on today on Canlipin Bowling Network on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, always free, never a charge, Canlipin Bowling Network on YouTube. What do you say, folks? Wow. All right, we're getting underway now. All right, we ready for first yep, ball? Yep, ready for first ball. All right, first ball are up. Let's go. Good luck, everybody. John Pumphrey, the president of the main, the uh, Massachusetts Bowling Association. Let's bring in John Pumphrey real quick. John, why don't you explain the format to our viewing audience at home? All right, so uh, each each bowling alley had a uh, roll-off, three-string roll-off, 90% handicap. And each one of these teams has won in their individual houses. So they've earned their way. That's why it's an invitational tournament. You have to win your way into this tournament to get to the finals. So tonight, the finals now is going to be a three-string roll-off again, 90% handicap, head-to-head. -head. And the winners of those, uh, those matches will start and bowl in the finals. The finals will be a best-of-three roll-off, 90% handicap, best-of-three roll-off. Um, so it's a great tournament. Everybody's pretty excited. Uh, first place team's going to bring home $600 a bowler, which is a pretty good prize money for uh, for the that'll pay for the drive up for sure. So pretty exciting stuff. All right, thanks, John Pumphrey. All right, so Carol Belinsky leads off on the right. Karen Jume on the left. All right, let's give us a team name. Give us a team names here, John. Oh my God, Cape Ann Lanes. All right, so we got Cape Ann Lanes on the left with Team Kilman. On the right, we got Academy Lanes, Team Fioli. And uh, on three and four, we've got Team Feast against out of 20th Century. Yeah, uh, Team Fioli. Team Ward. Team Fioli. Oh, Ward. Team Ward, yeah. Yeah, Team Feast against Team Ward. Okay, that's right. All right. That's on three and four. All right, yes, thanks, John. All right, so let's get to the uh, update here. So Carol had an eight, Karen Dumet a nine. Early in the first of three strings, semifinals. Try to zoom in a little bit closer to the thing. Karen Dumet, a very fierce competitor at Academy Lanes, above 125 Haber Mass. John, John. Late re reset in lane six. Karen has the queen pin, the five pin for a spare. So she is a great clutch bowler. She's from Danvers, Massachusetts, originally Newburyport, Mass. 60 years young, going strong. Carol Belinsky, beautiful ball there. 5, 8, 10. She may miss the spare chance. Early in the first of three semifinals. Oh, nice shot for Belinsky. The fall cost for a spare, 10 bucks, 18 through 2, not including the handicap. Karen Dumay, a pair of nines to start. Cape Ann Lanes, Gloucester, Massachusetts, on Candlepin Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. Third box, first string, semifinals. We'll t cover teams 1 through 4, 1 and 4 next string. Carol, 5, 9, 7 left. Karen. Dumay with a purple shirt, 1 3 9 10. Belinsky slides left, 5 and 9. Karen leads up number one. And Carol slides with barely friendly fire. 8, 26 through 3 in the first of 3. And Karen, 3 nines playing poker, 27 through 3. With the handicap included, it's 99-46. So it's going to be a big lead for Academy Lanes right now. But obviously, with the higher average team, Karen's team on, they're going to have to pick up the pace later on. So I'll give you scratch scores for now. And we'll update after 5 boxes for the handicap. Just a 10 pin that time for Carol. A bundle of six for Karen Dumay. Nice second ball. 
Pushes down the nine. Six right. Four, seven left. The broom is out. Jume, beautiful shot. She got it. 37 the ball through four. Semi-final action. The finals best two out of three. One string rounds. No pinfall involved. So if you lose by 100, you can win the next string by one. It doesn't matter. There'll be a separate broadcast later on today on Candleton Bowling Network. Nine for Belinsky. Carroll's at 35 through four. Carroll, 61 years young from Newton, New Hampshire. As Jumei drills five. Leaves up the five, rather. Nine drop. The queen pin the five. 46 through four. She throws a great ball, doesn't she? Former 111 league bowler, 103 nowadays. Spare, back to back. 56 half plus one. Polinski, 4 1 split. Corey Kilman up next after Karen Dumay. And a tough five for Carol Polinski. 40 half. Let's show the scores real quick. And here is Carol. Team competition. Massachusetts team tournament. NBA semifinals. On the right side, Kelly Murray. That one got away like a Southwest Airline commercial. Another nine drop. There's three nine drops in a row. The Jume family. The son bowling on lane five. John Jume. Uh, Corey, Corey, rather. Corey gets a spare. Sometimes it's better to be lucky to go. John Jume bowling fourth. Karen's son. A nice out after that ball on the channel to start. A nine box to Kelly. She'll take that. With the handicap, it's 122.85. Team to the right up right now, but the, the pins are already added for the string. Four in the field for Corey, 14 through one. That one got away. Got two, make it three. Good head pin eight. Only three. Eight left, six, ten right. And lanes five and six. Beautiful Cape Ann lanes. Boston S. Great place to bowl. Host your birthday parties, corporate events here as well. Good second ball. Just missed the queen pin. I call up the ladies to five. Corey Kilman gets a nine. 23 through two. Nice shot. Ten. A two ball, ten bucks, you could say. 19 through two. Kelly Murray from Methuen, Mass, an 88 league bowler, high single 125. <laughs> 34 years young. Four horsemen in the post for Corey Kilman. Just missed the pocket right. 136. Correction, 124, 910 on the left. 1310 for Corey. Corey from right here in Gloucester, Mass. Good head hit, nothing else. Kilman goes right. Boy, just turned 37 recently. Tough six for Kelly. 25 through three on Candleton Bowling Network. Kilman, half west, I hate that shot. There's a good ball, but just missed left the last second. But not a bad leave. One and the three as the ten falls down. Come back to the three, it holds up. Golden opportunity for a spare on lane six. Kelly missed right. Kilman goes left. One, two, six right. Wood to help. Karen Jume, 56 in the ball, coming up next. When she leads off later on. Kelly at 9, 34 through 4. Corey with an 8, 31 through 3. Now at 8, 39 through 4. Nothing like the great game of Canada from Bowling. Get the word out, folks. Nothing like it. A sport for all ages. Under Tree Roller in Academy Lane Bowling. A senior league on Wednesdays. 
Seven, eight, ten. What the hell possibly to Kelly Murray? Out of Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Kipper Mass. Oh, found the hole somehow. Meanwhile, Kilman, 3, 6, 10, 4 left on lane 5. He's a 104 to 109 bowler. Kelly gets one for an 8. 42 half. No marks here for her team. Corey, solid pinning 9. 48 half. Show these real quick. Every five boxes. This is scratch score. We'll put the handicap scores in later on. Back to live action. That one the channel reset. Not the way you want to start. Anthony Fioli. Tony. They call him. Steve Post up right now on lane five. One, three, seven, ten. Good try. Wraps around the three and ten. This is a two versus three matchup. KPN lanes to the left, Academy lanes to the right. Oh, Karen Bowles for Academy lanes. Well, the KPN lanes in this tournament. Nice shot for Steve. A ten. Anthony a six. Great job by John Pumphrey putting the Mass Bowling Association back on track. John, wonderful job. Class act all the way. Uh, we're doing our best. A lot of work goes into this stuff. Had I known you were coming, I would order two chocolate chip cookie pizza. My wife loves your chocolate chip cookie pizza. <laughs> that is a very, uh, we, we have quite the following now on the cookie pizza. Thanks to Paul Grant. And your, uh, <laughs> I'm, sure I, I'm sure I didn't help at all. <laughs> you kidding me? Oh, we got it. We got the spare. Pulse on the board. 20 to ball through two in the first of three semifinal action. Fioli a nine, 15 through two. So, John, talk about your house. Talk about your lanes. You've been doing this since 2019. You've done wonders there. Wow. We place opened in 1959, and uh, we have a we have a great video. We're gonna we're gonna get it up online soon. That talks about the, the how it was actually built right from the ground up. So some pretty uh, pretty cool stuff. I think Nick Norcross will like that when he sees the uh, history of the lane. But since 1959, we're redoing the whole front of it. So we'll have some pictures out there of the uh, of the new front of the building, and uh, we're going to use the old letters from 1959. We're going to put them back up. So Timber Lanes will be back. You play videos also on there as well. Candlepin Bowling Network videos on there too. We, you, do, we do. We always have Candlepin Bowling Network on our TV, and uh, customers love it. They come in and they, they actually sit down at the bar and they like watching Candlepin Bowling, and they uh, so they enjoy it quite a bit. So you guys do a great job and it helps keep our customers entertained. Thank you, John. Steve Spear, seven nine thirty six through three. Fiolia nine twenty four through three. Trying to get something going. Another spare. Steve's at 36 in the ball through fourth. Really a tough buy. The team has no marks yet. 14 boxes, 29 through 4. Team's trying to get to the finals. $600 to the winning team per bowler. Not a bad payday. On the bonus, perfect shot, spread eagle. 50 through 4 for Steve Post. Good bid. 247. Tony gets a 9. 38 half. Oh, you. Yeah, I haven't seen him since the beginning of the season, I think. September. And Steve officially at 51. So 61 half. The official score correction. So we'll get that fixed in our score sheet. We'll fix that in a moment. Now the anchor ball is coming up. There you go. 
Okay, on the right side. Kevin Lynch, Chaz Pallant. On the right side, left side, John Dumay. Son of Cameron Dumay. So John Stock with a 10, Chaz with an 8. John, you're doing a great job. You and your brother are doing a great job with the kids program there at Webster Timberlane Saturday mornings also. How can people get involved? Well, I think youth bowling is the future of the game. So many bowlers. Every single bowler that's out there that's a decent bowler all started in the youth program. So uh, a couple things we need in the youth programs. We need more centers to kind of step up and have a youth program, number one. But number two, we need some of these pro bowlers and some of these really good bowlers to step up and come in and visit those youth programs and help teach the kids and volunteer. Uh, I think that that makes a big difference. For us, we've got my brother Lou, um, who was on the Pro Bowler Tour for quite a while back in the day. And we've got Donnie Richmond, of course, a Hall of Famer. Uh, the two of them are there on Saturday mornings every Saturday, and they do a great job teaching our young kids how to bowl. So it's making a big difference. And Chaz got a Paul Grant special, missed the second shot completely, making the third, 10, 18 through 2 in the first of three strings, semifinals on Candleton Bowling Network. John Dumay had a strike, actually, I was talking to John, he got a strike, actually, as he missed that. My bad, not 10, so spare 8, sorry, John, strike 8, 10, 28 through 2, a lot of moving parts here, John. One, one man bad, a lot of moving parts here. <laughs> as Chaz drops 9. You're doing well, you're doing well, Paul. Don't have the Channel 5 crew here, that's for sure. That's for sure. One man band. Keeping the score manually as well. All the notes. One thing I'd like to put out there for the uh, for the listening audience, which we're considering uh, at the NBA, we're going to be reviewing at some, some future meetings here coming up, uh, potentially doing like a senior open tournament. Uh, so I'm curious to see what the uh, interest level is. Well, you, folks. you do in Maine every month. I've gone up to Maine a few times. It's a yeah. tournament. Very popular in Maine. Yeah, well, we, we, we want to... One a month. They travel over Maine two or three hours. They travel to carpool, and they do a state tournament every year. It's awesome. That's great. That's great. Well, they do an APH, an average spring handicap tournament in April, and the open tournament in April. We do like nine months of tournaments. It's awesome. Well, we're considering doing some stuff like that in uh, with the NBA, specifically around the senior community like 50 plus or 55 plus so we're uh, we're working through the the details of that but uh, hopefully we'll see something in the uh, in the summer for that so awesome you got a lot of great ideas john thank you very much <laughs> could have picked a better person to run it all right well we're away chaz 10 28 through three john dumay 7 35 through three first of three strings semi-files 2024 massachusetts bowling association team invitational Tournament, 90% handicap based on the 440 team average. Just missed right. Chaz, no box yet. For their, their team in 14 boxes. John Dumay goes left for a six. 41 through four. Chaz, a nine. 37 through four. Great to have you all watching. Good to come to handicap bowls as well. Everybody deserves their time to shine. That's how you grow the sport. Spread eagle. Oh, what a shot strike. Second one. I saw that one. Bombs away, baby. 51 half plus two. They got two marks to none in their favor. A tough 3-1 split. Three right. Two, four, seven left for Chaz. And threw it away for six. In a typical half, 43. Cape Ann Lanes. Karen Dumay on a spare next. They got a strike also from the son, John Dumay. They're on a good start. Number two seed leads the number three seed head to head. With the handicap, it's 236 to 235, so the pins are already in. So they got an advantage right now. So they need some marks. Kenny Lynch needs some marks on the left. They switch sides every five boxes. Karen Dumay. Gotta love her game. Okay, Karen. On the bonus, left side, just four. I'm sure she's thrilled about that. Spare nine, spare four, 60 half. The 103 nowadays league bowler. And a lemon drop. 
Oh, that's right. Lane reset, I think. Came out of the channel. We asked balls on the fourth pin and the sixth pin to donate one dollar. Candle pins for cancer. Five on spare strike optional. Eight families help in less than two years. The lemon drop pool alone. A fun way to a great cause. Jimmy try to work out this mess. Push it right. One, three, five, eight. Back to lane five. Carol Belinsky at a 40 half. In trouble here. Jimmy, seven. 67 through six. And Carol Belinsky at five. Team struggling, no marks in 16 boxes. 45 through six. John, let's go over the let's go over the prize money for our viewing audience. Yeah, so we, we did a nice job, I think, with the prize money. We we, we kind of put most of it into the final round here, uh, which is I, th I think it's great. For, it makes it it'll be an exciting tournament. I think next year probably gonna look at a lot more teams participating. Uh, but this year we've got six hundred dollars a bowler for first place, two hundred for second per bowler. And then we go 100 and then 50. So these guys are playing for some decent money, and uh, they're all excited about it. Yes. Thanks, John. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Karen got robbed that shot. A sarcastic smile. Very stoic, usually. A fearless competitor gets a 10. 77 through 7. Seven's a while for Karen Dumay. Carol Belinsky gets a 7. 52 through 7. Still no marks for Academy Lanes. It is handicapped, though. It is three strings, though. So it's total pinfall. Right, John? For three strings, right? Total pinfall, total pinfall for three strings. So the finals on a separate broadcast will be three separate strings. Best two out of three. So it could be two, could be three. You can mention one and drop pool people, too. That'd be great. Never mind. Not the... Oh, good try. Won't go. Yeah. Lens came one three five, trying to get something going for a team. Jume spins around for a nine. Sixty one through eight. Thank you for all I'll get on this. No problem. We've got a fun money in the uh, bucket too. All right, Kara Blinsky, seven fifty-nine through eight. Officially, nice ball there. Eight. What's great about this tournament is that it's a tournament that's built around, you know, a 90% handicap, which allows everybody to kind of participate and compete. And a lot of these folks, the common thing I've heard today is, is that I've never bowled in a tournament before. This is really exciting. They're so excited to be here. They're so excited to be part of it. So, you know, they, they may not have, you know, 110, 120 average bowlers. We've got some of them here, for, you know, for sure. Uh, but you've got some people that bowl in leagues and they love bowling and they're passionate about it. They're the doing their best. Bowlers are handicap bowlers anyway, league bowlers. That's true. That's true. So this is this is a tournament that we wanted to really kind of draw in as many bowlers as we could, and uh, we're hoping that we can see a big state tournament. We've got over 140 bowlers that now have average cards ready to go for the state tournament. So that's going to make a big difference. Valencia well, got a spare, and she gets three on it, so they're on the board finally. That gives her 72 through 9. Yeah, I'm so impressed with these bowlers, though. I think it's 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 an exciting time for them. It's an exciting time for Candlepin Bowling, getting people participating and, and trying to win, you know, tournaments. It's uh, it's good stuff. So we got more coming. We're going to be... You, you wait. The NBA is going to be bigger and better than it's ever been uh, in years and years. So we're, we're excited about it. Well, thanks to you, John, for putting this all together. Jumea 9, 103, opening swing, hits her average. Kara Blinsky, 10, 82, string. And she's an 85 league bowler. She has computer games, bowling for over 30 years. A night out, she said. Got her involved. 
get three string total pinfalls, all that matters so far. KP and Lanes now on the right have the lead. Second group of bullets. Kelly Murray now on the left. Corey Kilman on the right. Nice ball. Sweeps out the right side. Takes down the four. Six ten. Or rather four seven. Spare chance. Angle piece of wood. Supposed to stop if we throw the ball, but he missed anyway. Kelly missed right. That's a high-low jackpot, the 1710. I call it the Augusta Main Special in Bowling Center, Augusta Main. And barrels through for a 10. Corey's at 58 through 6 in the first of three strings semifinals. Kelly is 7, 49 through 6. Corey averaging 104. Kelly averaging 88. Smooth ball for a strike. She's got it. On the board. Big time strike. They need that one. 59 plus 2 through 7. Weevils wobble. This one falls. 7 10 post. Very festive atmosphere. Try and kick it over the wood. Good try. With a lid side in between that wood and the pin. Lane reset in five. As Corey Kilman gets a nine. 67 through seven. And a spare four to start. Every bowler for KP and Lanes in the right has a mark. Only two marks for Academy Lanes. It's starting to heat up now, though. Goal post. NBA Team Invitational Tournament 2024. Cape Ann Lanes, beautiful place. Boston, Massachusetts. For your kids, they got a great arcade here also. 16 lanes, a great bowling. Oh, the ball just missed a seven. Trophy presentation after the finals today. On the bonus three, that's first ball on the strike. Corey gets the, the pickup for a 10. 77 through 7. A correction to 8. And she almost stole the spare and strike. Kelly Murray, big 19 bucks. 68 through 7. That's how you fill them up. And a 10. Two below the minimum. 78 through 8 after a slow start. Corey missed it completely. And he'll take a nice nine out of that jam. 86 through 9. Murray in the pocket off the wall. Eight. Baby split. Two seven. Spare chance. His first spare. Oh. Right in the object. Did a job. Doesn't always work out. An excellent pinning at 10. 88. Officially, 80, yep, 88 is confirmed. 88 through 9. Back to back 10s. Third in the string. With one mark, that's a good score. 4 2 split for Corey. Same spot. So, spare four to start. Nothing since. Four seven eight for Kelly Murray. Filming eight ninety four opening string. And Corey coming in with a 104 average for this league average. Kelly trying to get to 98 with a 10 box. Nice ball. Head pin only for an 8. 96. Opening string for Kelly Murray. 88 average. Did a job. Anthony Fioli on the left. 
Stephen Post on the right, the Cape in lanes. Two versus three. We'll cover one versus four next string on lanes three and four. Three that time. Ten hit. Four one split. Make it two seven eight ten. For Anthony or Tony Fioli. He's from Haverhill, Mass. Sixty years young. Ninety six league bowler. One thirty three high single, high triple three. 56 just over three years. Never too late to join Kenneth from bowling. Gets his fourth for all ages. Each with an eight. So Steve Post, 69 through six. Anthony Fioli, Tony Fioli, 46 through six. One, two, seven, spare chance. Beautiful ball for Fioli. Wobbling five goes. Point of post. Great shot. Wraps around the two. Good try by Steve Post. 156 high single, high triple, 398. 103 league bowler, 112, his best year from Gloucester, Mass. He's 33, 34 now. He is young. And Fioli spins around. Good. Rolling a troll in the curly shuffle in the 10. Spare. He's on the board. They're blooming late on the marks. 56 in the ball through 7. Post to 10. 79 through 7 on Canopin Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. NBA Team Invitational Tournament. Cape Ann Lanes, Gloucester, Mass. Finals next on Canopin Bowling Network after this three string match. Beautiful ball. Powers 8. 4 in the 10. Tony has a triangle. Four middle, seven left, eight right. On the spare, seven. 63 through seven. Steve can't get it with the turn for the spare. In the channel, no good. A nine, 88 through eight. Eight's a while for Steve Post. Fioli gets the 10. 73 through eight after a slow start. Off the left, three. Fioli. Whoa, what a shot that was. Nine. Thought he had it. Nine pin left up. What the hell? Same spot. Oh, get Robin. Oh, he came back. The rebound spare. Anywhere they go. Two last three. 83 and a ball through nine. Nice bounce back. Eight for post, 96 through nine. Academy Lane's making a run. Down 16 right now with the handicap. Post, 4 2 split. The bonus for Fioli is three. Not happy with that one. 86 through nine. Average 96. Good bit by Post. Fioli missed right. All four for his average. Steve Post, 103 bowler, trying to get a 10. He gets a 9. 104, opening string. Let's put an 8 there. It's 104 officially. And Fioli, strong finish. Hits his average, 96. Five blocks to go before our second string. We're going to move over. Cover team one through four next. Try to get these scores up real quick. Live action. I'll show you in just a minute. Spread Eagle plus the eight. Sean Dumay. Oh, good bid. Chaz on the left. Jimmy's strike was six. 
Phil. He has a spare eight, a strike six, and a strength 57 out. A six block, 63 through six. Chaz with seven, 50 through six. Four blocks to go. We'll move our camera down. One lane to the left, three and four. Nice ball, eight. That looked good. Stuck with the post. Slotting right is four. Jazz Clown from Gable Mass, 90 league bowler, 132 high, single high, triple, 337. Only 14 months of Canada bowling, never too late. Good shot, one carry. Almost went. Enjoy golfing, camping, singing, and karaoke. Love karaoke. John Jamey, 10, 60. Question, uh, nine bucks. Hold on a second. Pick it at 10. Eight. Let me check the scores here. All right, so confirmed 10, 73 through 7. We're way back here. Chaz, 10, 60 through 7. Three blocks to go. Left side, three. Chaz, put up the 10. John, a 110 league bowler from Danvers, Mass. But a 182 in the qualifying round. Good second ball, leads up to 3 6. Chaz Galantz just missed the pocket. 1 3 7 8. Go for Angela Beauregard, got him involved. At Academy Lanes. 61 years young. John Jumet gets the 10. 83 through 8. Back to back 10s, 3 in the string. Chaz 8, 68 through 8, 2 blocks to go. So the score with the handicap, 415, 402. And now they have the lead thanks to those big marks down the stretch. Team left has the lead by 13. 1358 for Dumay. Oh, good try. In the channel. It's coming down to the final box. Dumay needs a mark. Doesn't matter. It's three string total pinfall. The finals be best two out of three. One string matches, not total pinfall. Jumea nine. 92 through nine. Chaz, a tough five, 73 through nine. That gives John Jumea a chance to win the string. They're down 11. Needs a mark. Beautiful ball. Again, it's three string total pinfall, so it doesn't matter if they win or lose now. Five, seven, ten. Beautiful ball. Nine. For Glunt. Oh, what a shot. He got it. Wow. Spin. The ten. Chance to win the string. Glunt missed it. The founder is after 90. And now... Let's see what he gets here. A 9. 82 string. So I, I think a 9 a nine to win. A 10 to... 9 to win. 8 to tie, I believe. Big time shot the 5, 7, 10 with Wood. 429. For Academy. Cape Ann Lane's on the right. Eight to tie, nine to win. Does not matter. It's three strings anyway, but you want to win anyway. On the bonus, you're up to the first. Look at this, the 189. Brutal. A cruel game. Three. Welcome to Canopin Bowling, folks. That's like a, that's a, that's like a lemon dropper. Yeah. 105, first string. What a good string. It turned out close. 429, 424. A five pin lead. For Academy Lanes, after all that, they get a lot of pins for the lowest scores. 90% handicap based on a 440 team average. We're going to 
move our camera down to lanes three and four for our next string. So bear with me here as we go on the fly here. Okay, on the move here, we're going to get ready for our next string, one versus four. And right now, they're in the last two boxes here, live extended coverage, 392 to 362. The team in the right up 30 right now. Back with the second string in just a moment. All right, they're finishing up their first string here, folks. We'll get back to live action in just a moment. All right, our team is still bowling. Okay, so one down. Just a moment here. We'll start a second string. Just a moment. Michelle, you guys need to stand out of the way. You had to stick in the way. Okay. Sit down and move out of the way. All right. Middle string about to start momentarily. Paul Grant live, Cape Ann Lanes, Gloucester, Massachusetts. The 2024 NBA Team Invitational Tournament on Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. This is a 1 4 matchup here. And a thriller in our last string. We'll get the scorecards here in just a moment. Twentieth century. Ron's Hyde Park, Massachusetts. That's his string. You're at three seventy-nine. And Webster Timber Lanes, Abington Mass, John Pumphrey's house. They have the lead. Four ten to three seventy nine. They have a thirty one pin lead with two strings to go. Total pinfall is all that matters. Here you go, guys. All right. So, middle string about to start. Let's pull this switch sides. Thanks to John Pumphrey putting it together as well. Do I have the line up there? All right, John, you want to give the microphone for a second? Talk about more about the NBA here. Well, first, I'd like to talk about Cape Ann Lanes. Uh, what a great facility. Uh, well run. Honestly, I, I don't think I've ever seen machines run as well as these run, and uh, it's uh, it's impressive. So these guys do a lot of great work. Well, The facility is well laid out. It's got an amazing bar. They make their own beer. I mean... What else could you want as a as a as a candlepin bowler? Some place to come where the place runs good, 
it's well set up, it's clean, uh, and they've got a fantastic bar. I mean, what else do you want? So, hats off to uh, Cape Ann Lanes for uh, for representing Canopy Bowl. And uh, this is really what the model is. This is what we need to be in Canopy Bowl. We need to have really well-run facilities. Uh, that's what's going to help us, you know, succeed and drive and, and be successful in the future. So, good stuff there. All right, John. So, tell the viewers you got a you got a one-four match up here right now. One versus four right now, our second string. Yeah, so uh, in this one, we've got Webster Timber Lanes. Your uh, home house. My home house, that's correct. A little correct. bias, a little yeah, bias yeah. here, John? <laughs> what is that? He went in the gutter with one box. You mounted one thing. Lane reset, by the way, on lane three. Okay. You saw Perry. So you can change Maurice Perry here watching. Couple of Candlepins of Cancer 50 50 raffle. He bowls the Atlantic Candlepin singles tour this year also. At West Timberland, uh, Bronson, rather, Bronson, Hyde Park, 20th Century. Yeah, the folks out of 20th Century, uh, uh, great group down there. Uh, Jay does a great job. They, that's an interest, another interesting bowling alley where they've got an ice cream shop attached to the to the bowling alley, and uh, that's part of what you got to do as a, as a bowling alley owner these days. Is you got to you got to diversify a little bit. You got to have. Uh, the entertainment, uh, the, the the restaurant, the food, the drink, the in their case, you know, the ice cream to keep the place, you know, running, running well, and uh, keep the revenue coming in. So, a couple of Hall of Famers, uh, some guy named Craig Holberg and now Bob Wickham in yeah, your house. That that's true. It's true. We uh, uh, very unfortunate news that you know a, a great house, uh, Holbrook, uh, went by the wayside. Unfortunately, that place went down. Uh, but we were very fortunate to to pull over their pro league and uh, find a spot for them on on Wednesday nights at Webster Timber Lanes. Uh, great group of guys, very competitive. Uh, it's great to walk down the aisle and you know see 130 scores like on almost every lane, every string. Uh, they're uh, amazing and, and gals too. We got a lot of good 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 bowlers that are in there, the men and women that are doing a terrific job. Um, so it's an exciting league, a lot of fun. Oh look at that shot, Pat McDonough. There, after a nine. Get, getting on the board. A family of bowlers, huh? That's right. All brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, we got the, we got the two boys and the dad here. And uh, they're, uh, they're a good, good group of guys. They bowl in a couple leagues a week, both of them, all of them. And uh, they are uh, they, they love the game. So we got some up-and-comers there. Michelle hit the object pin, wouldn't carry. Three and a six for a ten. And an eight, 15 through two in the second of three. Semi-final action, finals next on Candlepin Bowling Network, Paul Grand Live, Cape Ann Lanes, Gloucester, Massachusetts, on Candlepin Bowling Network. Again, it's great to see these bowlers. Look at this start, nine. That's on a spare, 28 through two for Pat McDonough. Great start. Team won the first by 31, I believe. Yeah, 31. Brian, Brian, up 31, right? Up 31, up the one. Uh, you check. That one got away. Michelle Perry, beautiful ball for a strike nine. And Pat with the ball, Grand Special missed the second, make the third for a ten. Thirty-eight through three in the second of three. Michelle Perry, 9, 24 through 3 in the second of 3. Uh, another ball to go, actually. It's still 9. Still 33 through 24 through 3. He's a 114 high, single high, triple 257. Just a 77 league bowler, 84 best year. Ricky from Ohio, now in Boston, Mass. And a diamond for Pat McDonough. This North Weymouth Mass, 100 league bowler, 138 high single, high triple, 341. His dad and brother got involved 30 years ago. Choice fishing and golfing. Oh, beautiful shot. The violin bow slides by the eight. Nine box, 47 through four. 90% handicap tournament based on a 440 team average. Michelle, good, good effort. Pat gets a 10, so make it 48 through 4. So a 9, spare 9, two tens. Michelle just missed for a 9, 33 through 4. Oh. 
Never too late for a Candlepin gift card. Support your local bowling centers. Mother's Day coming here before you know it. Father's Day, graduations, anniversaries, birthday parties, holidays, of course. Great time to get people involved in this great game. Candlepin gift cards. Please support your local centers. Invest in this great game. McDonough. Oh, what a try. Just missed the six. That would have been something. Michelle Perry trying to bounce back. Good second ball. She wanted that in the first. Lever antics in the lane. Five and the ten. And Pat McDonough, excellent half. 58. Three tens in a row. And nine blocks is only blemish to start. Great bowling. Michelle Perry slides left for an eight. 41 half. Above her average at that pace, though, of 77. 82 pace. Another McDonough. Here's Paul McDonough from North Weymouth, originally Quincy Mass, a 110 league bowler. High single, 162. High triple, 437. Bowling, always, he said. And he jokingly said his favorite bowling moment to be determined. It'll be today if they win the whole thing. As he pounds nine. Now, left side, the 20th century runs in Hyde Park. Is David. All miss a chance. And that's a Paul Grant special. Miss the second, make the third for McDonough. Just to watch my videos. David Elias on lane three. Tough three. He's averaging 78. So we can afford one of those string. Boston Mass. 155 high single, high triple, 352. All with a bundle of five. Close to the same foot and arm. Crazy delivery, four. Whatever works. Oh, let's get blocked. I think so. I think so. I couldn't see it. Okay, both bowlers getting away in the second ball. Paul McDonough in lane four. He had beautiful Cape Ann lanes, Boston, Massachusetts on North Shore. Nice out, nine. 19 through two in string number two. David looking for an out. Gets a seven box, just 10 through two. But again, just a 78 league bowler. Second string of three. One versus four. We did two versus three the first string. We'll cover the closer match next string. A five pin difference in that first match we covered after one. Between Cape Ann Lanes and Academy Lanes. Academy out of Haverhill, Mass. Setback lead for McDonough. David Elias, one, two, eight, nine. 30 years of Candlepin Bowling. Just missed the five. Nice shot the wall, just missed the nine. You have John stand beside the camera. Paul McDonough gets a nine, 28 through three. And Elias gets a nine. 19 through three. Handicap tournament, 90 percent. Semifinals. 2024 Massachusetts Bowling Association Team Invitational Tournament on Candlepin Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. Always free, never a charge. Please subscribe. Get your friends and family to do so also. Over 1,000 videos, semi-pro and pro action. Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. Nice ball by Elias. The setback lead five middle, four seven left. We went, meanwhile, Paul McDonough is a half blister. Now he's got five standing. One, three, five in the middle. Four, seven left. Second string of three. Good bid. Got the two. Did his job.
The Space Cowboy here in attendance today, Maurice Perry. Cheering his wife on, Michelle Perry, lead up bowler. McDonough, 7, 35 through 4. David Elias gets a pair of nines after a tough 3 7 start, 28 through 4. Maurice pulling the Atlantic Hamilton singles for Mr. Hoops for Hope also. Yes, yes, good to be here to support my wife. Did you get done? Did your wife get you with Maureen? Did you start bowling first? No, I started bowling ever since I was a kid. She moved here from Ohio. That's right, Ohio, that's right. And she's taking on a sport because she loves me. But well, you picked a good one, didn't you? I did, absolutely. Talk about your Hoops for Hope program also. Well, this will be our 16th year. I did the first eight. Yeah. And we raised over $900,000. Hopefully we'll be at a million this year. You help hospitals. We help hospitals. And we local help areas too. Local charities, food pantry, the Boston Teen um, Police Academy. And so we raised a lot of money for many different events. Well, great job. You're a class act all the way. How's your bowling going? Uh, you went to Kennel and Singles Tour. I'm injured right now. So my shoulder's giving me problems. So I'm taking a couple weeks off. But... I'm in a play playoff race right now, which I'm happy about, trying to fight for a division lead. But uh, ACST has been a, uh, a good blast stepping stone. To be a part of good it. stepping stone for bowlers. Right, 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 right. And so hopefully we'll have a class E yep, next C year. Coming next year, yep. Right. So the, the league is. Already going to do a match at Central Park Lanes. Right, right. So. All right, Maurice. Well, thank you for all you do, Paul. Thank you. Good luck. Yep. All right. So while we're away. David got a three, just 31 half. We need a mark for his average at that pace. Paul McDonough, 44 half after that nine box. Here's Brian Feast, the captain. Six, nine right, seven left. He can hum that ball. Harry Wood for 20th century. Brian, six right, seven left. So talk about the bowling center, too, while we're... This is Maurice Perry. Oh, wow, what a shot. Takes them all down for a spare. A difficult shot for Harry Wood. Ten of the ball to start the middle string. Feist and eight. So the official name of the bowling center in Hyde Park. 20th Century Bowling. And they call it Ron's, though. Ron's because it's an ice cream shop. And Ron's has two different ice cream shops. There's Spumoni? Uh I don't know, <laughs> but it's great ice cream. You ever want to come Homemade? down? Yeah, if you come down and I'm there, I'll treat you. Oh, you work there, too? I don't work here. Okay. No, 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 but it's a great house. I love it. And uh, Ron and, and Jay, uh, the proprietors of the organization, uh, do such a great job. Can I borrow the corporate jet? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. So, but a great house. And we got a tournament, uh, a, a, um, a strike derby coming up next month. So how's how's the Wi-Fi there? Wi-Fi is good. The Wi-Fi is good. If you want to come down to a turn, let me know. I'll be happy to come down. All right. You said so you got to come down for that. I'll All strike right. derby. Okay? It was 50-50 fun raise for Camel Fencer Cancer, too. Right, right, right. Charity, got to be charity-based. Right. So, yeah. So, come on down for that. We'd love to have right. you. Let me know. Yeah. Pretty busy April and May. Oh, fights with a nine drop. I know. We're going to 10. All right. Maurice Perry, thank you. Yeah. The Space Cowboy. On the bonus, Ward drills seven. 17 through one. The second of three. Fice, spare. Feast. I keep saying feist. Feast. I know it's feast. He's feisty. Ryan Feast. I know it's feast. I keep saying feist. I don't know why. It's a two hours sleep. You say it wrong, it gets in your head. So eight and a spear. 18 of all through two for Brian Feast. Another pick up there. That's a 10 bucks. After a spear, 7 10 for Harry Wood. 27 through two. Brian Feast on a bonus. Harry, a 112 league bowler has peaked 99 right now. 150 high single, high triple of 450. Impressive high five of 650 out of 20th century lanes. 30 years of Canada bowling. <laughs> Brian from Marina Mass, Richie Hall Mass in the South Shore. On a spare, lane four, crossing over seven, three middle, five left, six right. 25 through two. Lord, pops the strike zone eight. Generous leaves six ten. Wood to help. Peace just missed left. Three in the six. Wood for another one. Oh, he bounced the wrong side of the wood. Wow. 
Brian gets the 10. Thirty-five through three in the second of three. Semifinal action. Harry Wood nine. Especially a nine box in that second box, not a ten. So twenty-six through two, nine, thirty-five through three. Spread Eagle plus the eight. Smooth ball, just missed the pocket. Five. Ryan, 118 league bowl, a 125 is best season. A 197 high single. Ajapin only gets two, 4 1 split. High triple, 467. High five, 720. Harry Wood, another good bid, won't go. Wrapped around the four. Ryan just missed left for an eight. 43 through 4. Carry a 10. 45 through 4. Anchor Bowl is next. Middle string. Semifinals. The finals will be one string. Best two out of three series. Next on Kenneth Bowling Network. After the final string here today. This is one versus four. Number one seed on the right. 5, 9, 10. Ryan Feast. Harry Wood. Missed left that time, 478. Maurice Perry. How'd you get this team? You're now your wife your wife beat your team, huh? I'm not admitting that, but uh she's here and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shot he got! Spray, incredible shot! Brian's feasting on the pins for a spare. 40 53 half plus one. Harry, good try. Just missed the three. The two, rather. The two pin stands. Wait, two hours slip. I'm saying the wrong pin numbers. Gets the 10. 55 half. Let's put the scores on the screens real quick. Chris McDonough on the right. For Webster Timberlanes, the number one seed. Trying to get to the finals. They led by 31. After one. Half was to right. Runs. Dan. Oh, nice shot, McDonough. He picks it up. No problem. Spare. Dan Corbett. He's up number one. He gets a nine. One versus four, semifinals, middle string on Canelton Bowling Network. Massachusetts Bowling Association Team Invitational 90% handicap tournament. On the nose, five. 15 through one for Chris McDonough. Terrific bull, a great guy on and off the lanes. Four two split for Dan. Dan from Brighton, Mass, Ridgey Walpin, Mass. 96 league bowler, 136 high single, high triple, 338. His hobbies, bowling. McDonough with a banana split. Now he has the 1479. Chris a 7, 22 through 2. A seven to Dan, sixteen through two. Harry Ward, how you doing, buddy? Good. We throw a really good ball up there. You really what? Look, look like a true pro up there. Well, I'm trying. You know, you know one ten average, not, not bad. Right. Yeah. I'm trying. It's not easy. <laughs> bowling quite a while, huh? Yep. All I've been bowling for thirty years, so. Yeah. About thirty years. Yeah. How'd you How'd you pick it up? When'd you learn about bowling? Well, one of my friends. That's with him here. I started bowling with him and uh, from there I liked it so. McDonough Sphere. Yeah, that was beautiful. Huh? Beautiful Sphere. And, uh, same spot. Yeah. Dan. 
So what do you what do you like about bowling? What is, what is something you, what do you enjoy about bowling? What are you working on in your game to get better? Well, I'm working on my game that I'm, I'm mostly throwing the ball to the left, right? I don't know why I was that, but I'm gonna work on that and see can I get straighten it out a little bit. This is fun. This is a great atmosphere today. It's good for you guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Strike on spare. Wow. McDonough, big 20. 42 through 3. 52 plus 2 through 4. Looking to get to the finals. There we go. All right, Harry. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Harry Thank Wood. You. Nice right. to meet you. Dan eight that last box, 24 through 3. Looking for it out here. All right, we got we'll take a nine. 33 through four. They need some marks. They got one spin left. Chris McDonough, three marks and four boxes on a strike. Only three. Nice ball there, but a 3 1 split. Four left, 3 6 10 right for Dan Corbett. McDonough, second ball on the strike, threw it away. Tough three. 55 through four. Not happy with that. For North Wayne with Mass, a 118 league bowler. High single, 171. High triple, 459. High five, 687. Also bowling 30 years. Tough six after a strike three after a spare. Still a good half, 61. Dan, tough half, 8, 41. Half. Halfway through the semifinal match. Cape Ann Lanes, Gloucester, Massachusetts, 2024 NBA Team Invitational Tournament on Channel Pin Bowling Network. All Grand Live, great to be with you. 90% based on 440 team average. So with the handicap included right now, let's get a quick update if we can. We'll get it to you as soon as we can. Michelle Perry, 5'10", would to help. Back to the top of the order. Pat McDonough, Pat McDonough on the left at a 58 half. Michelle missed it left. Three years of Canada for bowling. Husband and friends got her involved. 114 high single. She enjoys bowling, yoga, walking, does executive coaching. Great classy lady on and off the lanes, Michelle Perry. I guess there was a foul. We're going to check to see what happened there. Mark, can you give me an update for the viewers at home? The update, it's a handicap tournament, so it's 90% on a 440. So the string right now, the lead in the string is, the handicaps all include the entire string, correct, on the scoreboard? Uh, I don't think so. I think maybe it's per game. It right, per game, per game, game right. So, so the string right now, you guys are up right now because of the handicap, right? 221, 250, you're up 257 to 221, but the handicap, handicap's already in for the string. But we'll find out in just a moment. Nice shot, you got it. But missed the second, made the third for a 10, 51 through 6. And now that's brutal three. After a 58 half, 61 through 6, a cruel game. Michelle Perry, 77 league bowler, going well this string. There's a nine drop from McDonough. Patrick McDonough. King pin the five. Hey. 
missed right. And Pat missed that chance. Middle string, semifinals. Finals next on Canada from Bowling Network after the third string. That's two out of three single strings. Michelle, nice out, all three for 10. Pat nine, 70 through seven. Just 12 was last two. Michelle Bowling, great the strength, 61 through seven. Here are 10s back to back. That one got away. Pat McDonough, one, two, four in front, the eight behind the two on lane three. Michelle trying to help her team get back in contention. The underdogs in this tournament, the fourth seed out of four. Just two. Pat Spare! That's how you come back. A three, a nine, now a spear. Officially 80 in a ball. Nine. She's talking to folks with Academy. Okay. Michelle Perry, a tough four, 65 through eight. Nice ball there. Triangle two four five on the bonus. Beautiful ball for strike. He's got it. A big twenty. Top of the order, Patrick Down McDonough, ninety through eight. Eight one hundred plus two in the ninth. Michelle gets the span to go. Seventy five in the ball through nine. All right, so it's 670 to 660. So it's an eight pin lead right now for the team on the left. We're up 39 in the match. Right. That's the running total, right? Eight in the match. So the running total in the match is eight pins. Yeah. The team on the left, number one seed, eight pin lead in the match overall. That's the handicap included. 670 to 662. The scores we put in the screen are scratch. Michelle in the bonus. Look at a big fill. Right side steals eight. Seven, rather. 189. McDonough missed right. One, two, four, seven on a strike. Michelle over average, 72 through nine. Not an easy shot. Go away, the channel. McDonough for the mark. Looks good, he's got it! Another big 20. 110 through nine, 120 in the ball on the 10th. Sizzling, three in a row. 100 league ball is shining. Here in Foster. Michelle gets two for a nine. Nice string for her. 81. Four over average. Patrick McDonough show here. Another hit for hit six. How about a 126, is it? 126 it is. 70 at the seven at the minimum. 56 is last three. Wow. <laughs> Six ninety six, six seventy eight. They're up eighteen right now. As we have so far. So just a moment. David Elias on the right. Paul McDonough on the left. Half Worcester.
One, two, four, nine. Aitana chopped out for the six. Elias keeps his footing. Six. 37 through six in the second of three. He's only a 78 bowler. McDonough, a tough four. 48 through six. Sixteen pin lead for the team on the left. Wedge to Timberlanes. Having team has has the lead by sixteen. Elias half Worcester McDonough six right seven left. Three brothers in the team. Patrick Paul Chris, I believe. This be something. Just missed. Got the seven somehow. Elias, tough three. 40 through seven. He's a mark for his average. Ball with the wood. The ball goes right behind the six for nine. 57 through seven. Semifinals. Just three there. David McDonough slides right, only one. So this is the father, the two brothers and a father. So Paul is the father. I was told brothers earlier. It's the father, Paul McDonough. Elias, tough box again. Third three box, last four out, 43 through eight. Advantage, West Timberlane's the left. Nice shot there. Push the five down. Nice out, 10. 67 through eight, late in the second, or halfway, past the halfway point in the second, I should say. Three string format, the finals will be a separate broadcast. That's two out of three, one string matches. Elias drops nines out of nowhere. Strange game. McDonough, half Worcester. Elias could use this mark for his confidence. His team could use it. They're down right now. 22 in the match. And he got it. Oh, McDonough, great try. The father can't get the 10 to go. 53 in a ball through nine. David Elias on lane four. McDonough, nice shot. 10, 77 through nine. Brian Feast on a spare next. One versus four. One has the lead. Close. On the bonus, right side, five. 58 through nine. Needs to convert to get his average. McDonough, just four. Semi-final action. Just missed left. Got one. McDonough threw it away. Elias all four for 71. And nice out, nine, 77 under his average, seven under, but a nice finish. That's fair five helped. And actually, it's a 66 string. It was a four fill, not a five fill. I thought it was a five fill. That's a five. I thought that was a five fill in the spare. Yeah. That was a five fill. The score showing four. So they got to fix that scoreboard. Five fill. So it's a 67 string. Oh, you okay, and Paul 
McDonough, 885, second string. All right. Third bowl is out of four. Brian Feast drills the pocket. Clips the eagle on a spare five, 58 half. Harry Woods. Oh, he got it! Great shot for a spare. A dandy. 65 and a ball through six. Had a spare seven to start. Two nines, two ten spare. Great pinning. Feast, eight. 66 through six. Nine blocks to go before the final string. Before the finals. Harry's team down 26, trying to rally his team in the match. Just three. Not happy with that shot. 110 league bowl is 68 through 6. Feast, 5 and a 10. The old Woolworth leave. Harry just missed inside. 1, 2, 6 right. Good bid. Harry takes an eight. Seven, 76 through seven. Feast gets the 10 on the 1 1 split. Not bad considering. 76 through seven. Eight blocks to go. Each floor at 76. 760, 735. 25 pin lead for the number one seed. Where's the Timberlanes on the left? Harry, check mark right, seven left. Ugly. Leave. Vice crossing over the Queen board, the Star Trek character. Seven of nine. So we can use that wood somehow. Boy, trying to make something out of this. Missed everything. Still have one string left. That's total pin, Paul. All that matters. Both matches close. He got it! Spare! 86 in the ball through 8. And that's the shot Harry wanted, but he gets a 9. 85 through 8. The other match to our right. KPN Lanes. Trails Academy Lanes. 829 to 815. One of the final strength. 14 pin deficit. This one's 27 right now. Both close. Beautiful ball, eight. Tough split, four in the ten. Feast, feeling it. Just missed left. Five. On the spear, 91 through eight. Harry, field goal. The drive wraps around the three six. Harry takes a nine. 94 through nine. Brian Gaines with a 10. Six blocks to go in the second. 101 through nine. Lord, look for a mark. Missed right. One, two, seven, nine, ten. Feast powers the strike zone, breaks up the left side. 3 6, golden chance. Boy, good bid. 9 to 10. Brian, seven times on TV in the past. Missed that chance. Harry, 8 101. Second string officially. And Brian Feast with a 10, 111. Second string. Ankle balls to wrap up our middle string. Top of the 10. McDonough 3-1 split. Advantage webs to Timberlanes. 
John Pumper, I know you're rooting for your home team. Come on, you got to admit it, though. Come on, you can tell me it's okay. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, without a doubt. I, I hope they do well. But I'm, I'm really impressed with how these bowlers are bowling. Yeah, we may have to switch over there for next year. It's a little closer. They're both close, but that one's closer. I've so talked to a lot of the uh, talked to a lot of the different bowlers that are bowling today, and they're man, they're it's it's amazing to see people like. 15, 20 pins over their average, things like that. And, you know, it's a little, pins little, move, little they, bit of pressure out there. They move pretty good here, the pins, though. They do. They do. It's a so good I think, alley. I think we're going to switch back over here, I think, I think for the next swing. It's a little closer match, I believe. So you, you tell me what you want to do. You They're do both close. You, you do what you think is best. We'll go with the, uh, if you want to go with the closer match, that makes sense to me. Try and get the, uh, it's good for the, good for the viewing audience. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So while we're talking, let's see. We got the date here. Have you seen, have you seen the fastest ball? Dan Corbett's on the right. A nine, now a seven, fifty-seven through seven. The Thirty-five mile an hour ball. That's pretty good. Chris McDonough, sixty-eight through six. Now a seven, seventy-five through seven. Three blocks to go in the second semifinals. Massachusetts Bowling Association Team Invitational Tournament on Candleton Bowling Network. So you got an app on your phone to do that, huh? The speed on your phone? The what? You got an application on your phone? For no, 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 no. I'm looking at the speed of the oh, ball. Oh, it's, on, oh, it's on the screen there. Okay, I yeah, didn't see that. Lane, lane five. Okay. Lane Thirty-five. I've been here before now. once. But I, the first time screen though. Oh, good try by Chris. That's the good thing about the handicap. Like everybody's got a chance to win. That's so important for tournaments like this. That people have a good chance to win. They've got a good opportunity. And it's good. Some of the pro bowlers look down on that. It's good to see bowlers like Chris McDonough and you know Brian Fees. Good bowlers, with high averages, bowling these tournaments. Because yeah, you, you got to compete. It's uh, it, it's when it's handicap, it's more difficult, of course. For, for a higher average bowl, they've got to come. They've got to be on their A game. They can't have take, take any strings off. That's just part of the part of the game. But you know what? It's a competitive tournament. It, it, it's fair. You bowl over your average. Whoever bowls over their average the most wins. And you just got to come to compete. So and We have 62 I, teams, 124 bowls. The big 20 any doubles handicap tournament. That was a 95% based on 130 average. Yep. We're doing yeah. a top five live show April 13th on Canada Mowing Network. That's... Nine big nine house bowl has got in. That's great. That's great. I love to see uh, all these new tournaments, the new the new ways that people are doing them, and it's uh, great for the game. Great for the game. You're doing a great oh, job, John. You're doing a great job, John. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's see. While we're away, talking to John, Chris, 98, 84 through eight, nine, 93 through nine. It came from Pat. Did it? Yeah. So they're the league going to the final string. We're going to switch over. Sean, we're going to switch over here, I think, the third string. We'll move our camera down for next string in just a moment. Nice ball. Dan, nine. Just missed a six. Just 73 through nine. McDonough, seven. One, three, six. Fair chance. For a spare. He got it. On the board, the 10th, 83 in a ball. Trying to get it closer for the third string. McDonough's, oh, what came back? Just missed the head pin. McDonough picks up for a 10, 103, second string. Can you tell Karen to wait? I'm going to move the camera down a couple of times. Oh. Yeah, tell her to wait. Let me move it down. Yeah. Tell Karen the blue shirt to wait to start to move the camera down. Yeah. Eight Phil for Dan. 91. Second string. Two down, one to go. We're going to switch over to lanes five and six. The close match. 14 pin lead for Academy Lanes over KPM Lanes. Keep it alive. We're going to move down. Here are the scores for our middle string. All right, here we go, John. On the move again. All 
Jack with a third and final string in just about 30 seconds. Third and final string underway. We're back to Academy Lanes on the right, Cape Ann on the left. Fix our camera here. Karen Dume on the left, team down 14. Carol Polinski on the right. As we move on the fly here. Karen won't go. Oh, nice pickup for a 10. Karen, he's 10 also. This is semifinals. Massachusetts Bowling Association Team Invitational Tournament. Cape Ann Lanes, Gloucester Mass, Paul Grant live on Canlis Bowling Network. Head to head. One of these teams will go to the finals next on Canlis Bowling Network. Separate feed. Belinsky after rolling one in that first ball. Six in the second. One, two, eight. Half whistler with Karen Dumay. Got the pocket. Good bid. He has the two, eight. Half whistler. Now just the eight. Good bid. <laughs> Carol 9, 19 through 2 in the final string. Karen gains the 10. Here are the other matches right now. Webster Timberlanes. They had the lead. Number one seed leads. Their match. <laughs> We'll give, up, we'll give you updates on that throughout this string also. We'll try to move over if we have time afterwards. This string is close here. This match is close. Belinsky for a spare. Good try. Here you go, Harry. 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 Karen Jumay, all but number one. Final string of the match. A good one. Karen, great ping, three tens. That's how you do it, folks. You're not getting marks. Get your nights in tens. Marks will follow. Jumei, pocket shot. Keep going. Two in the seven. Carol Polinski, one, two, four. She's at 28 through three. Solid pinning. Eighty-five league bowler. Karen, one hundred three league bowler. For a spare. Oh, rough break. Unbelievable. We're showing the other two lanes to our left also. Carol seven that time, 35 through four in the final string of the match. Being carried yet another ten, 40 through four, all tens. Carroll takes up the 10 pin only. To 
May, left side, 478. Try and get in the final $600 for the winning team for each bowler. Carol needs a big out. Karen, one, three, six, nine. Carol Polinski, 641 half. And the only two pins left in the deck that time, 848 half for Karen Dumay. Great pinning. Corey Kilman on the left. Trying to get his team in the finals. Kelly Murray on the right, drill seven, five middle, four seven left. Not an easy leave. Four two split for Corey. Nothing there for Kelly. Corey trying to make something out of nothing. Missed everything. Nice out, nine. We'll start our final string. Hopefully more. Corey ends up with a seven. Four, seven, eight for Kelly. One, three, seven. What to help behind the one, three. For Corey. Nice second ball. These are the check mark. For a spare. Miss right. Tight, tight, tight. The handicap is already in, so it's going to show a big lead. The team on the right. They'll come down later on. Nine for Corey, 16 through two. Kelly gets a seven. She's at 16 through two here in the third semifinals. Michelle off to left, five. Make it six, make it seven. One, three, wiggling six. Eighty-eight league bowler out of Academy Lanes. Oh, too bad. Right in the nose. One seven eight nine. Killman. Oh, what a try. They're putting up brakes right by the nine. What's wrong with that? Kelly and eight. Steve with a nine. A kid, Corey rather than nine. Corey twenty-five through three. Kelly twenty-four through three. 142 bowlers started the tournament. Four different houses. All houses to be represented today. Down the final four teams. And look at this lead. Four, seven, five, nine, ten. We'll keep an eye on the number one seed, Webster Timberlanes and Ron's 20th century team. One versus four. Number one leads. Not the two. Great to come to these handicap tournaments. Head pin hit. 2 1 split. 2 4 6 right. Kelly trying to recover this mess. Nothing doing. Oh, what a try. Karen. Karen. Thanks. Miss left for nine. Corey Kilman 34 through four in the third. Kelly is six, 30 through four. Handicap's already in. Kelly's team, 973 to 916. Obviously, that's going to come down because they get a lot of points added. On the crossover, it is a triangle. Three middle, five left, six right. Corey, smooth ball, nine on the crossover. Deep in the five. Kelly for a spare, put away. Yeah. 
Corey, high piece of wood. Can he get it? He does. Forty-four half plus one. Kelly is seven, 37 half. Let's put these up real quick. That's Academy Lanes. He has Cape Ann Lanes. In the channel. With Tony Fioli. Steve Post with an E. Six pin for a spare. Fioli grabs three. For a spare, he missed it. Fioli, big out, only a four, brutal. A spare difference, you could say, a 10 4 convoy. Steve Pulse, 10. Handicap included, 986, 936. Team the right lead, but that's going to come closer, obviously. Just five and six. One, three, five, ten. The post on the left. Fioli for a spare. Miss Bright, all but number one. Finals next. Great shot, spare. Twenty-six in the ball through three. Correction, twenty in the ball through two for Steve. Fioli nine, thirteen through two, so twenty in a ball. A 10 in the spare for Steve. They were down 14 coming in. Fioli crossing over a triangle. 3 5 6. Bonus ball time. 8. 8. Wiggling 10 right with the help. Three pieces on the bonus. 28 through 2 for Steve Post. For another one. No, too far right. Pioli missed for an eight. 21 through three on Canopin Bowling Network. Steve Post with an E, nine. 37 through three in the third. Semifinals on Canopin Bowling Network. NBA Team Invitational Tournament. Two great matches, Post. Really having trouble in that first ball. Post pounds the strike zone. Five middle, eight left, nine right. Yoli, one, two, six right. For a spare. Yes! Second spare of the last three. Look at him go. 47 the ball through four. The Cape Ann Lanes. Tony Fioli, 7, 28 through 4. No marks again like the first. And then Handicap settles down. I believe Cape Ann Plains will have the lead. Fioli, 1, 2, 4, 9, 10. Spare time, 6, 7, 1, 2, 8. The post, 54 through 4. 103 league bowl is shining here. Another one! Back to back, 3 out of 4, 64, half plus 1. Wow! Fury, 8, 36, no marks for his team. And here it comes, Cape Ann Lanes. Try and get to the finals. Steve Post doing his job. Anchors away. Chaz on the right. John on the left. John Dumay, eight, nine to ten. Chaz Blunt, five. One on the eight. Double barrel wood. Well, one in front, one behind. This is not going to be easy. Powers it and doinks it. What a match. Chaz an eight to start his final string. Nine for John Dumay. 
Trying to 182 in the qualifying round. 110 league bowler, 113 his best season. 32 years young. Getting better and better. Plus the Metro Bowl and Peabody in Cape Ann Lanes here in Gloucester. Ten pin only for Chaz. Dumay. Fortune to get six. One, three, eight, nine on lane five. Lane six. Chaz trying to bounce back. He's up seven. Oh, excellent shot. You got it. The train takes it down. 19 of all through two on Camelton Bowling Network. On YouTube, free to subscribe. Never a charge. Always free. Camelton Bowling Network on YouTube. What a shot by Dumay. The sun shines, literally. Chaz 5, 13 through 2. It's getting away. Academy Lanes. Had the lead because the handicap's already included. 1, 7, 8, 9. On the bonus, beautiful ball, six. More coming down, seven. We're doing five in the middle, four, seven left, the setback shot. 26 through two. And Chaz, that doesn't count. He got another one. Back to back, they want to roll. The last two balls, five spears and six boxes. Sizzling here in Gloucester. 36 in the ball through three. Looking to punch the tick in the finals. Chaz struggling. Six officially. 19 through three. No marks. Hello, Scott from Raleigh, North Carolina. Wendy Frazier, thanks for watching. Carol Lee, is it? Thanks for watching. They're putting on a show here in the third. The home house team has the lead. I think overall, hard to tell the handicap already included the whole string. Just a matter of time. Seven spare seven again for the second time in a row. 43 through three. She has open four seven. Would to help for three in a row. Oh, too bad. So close. And the channel does Chaz 8, 27 through 4. They need some marks. John cleans it up 10, 53 through 4. And Karen Dumay has a 48 half without a mark. Corey's on a spare, Steve's on a spare. John has two spare sevens, a 9 and a 10. Beautiful ball by Chaz. Breaks up the split. Six goes down, 2, 4, 7. Got to get this one. To stop the bleeding. John hums it left, just missed the pocket on the crossover. Four, seven, eight triangle, one, three, six, ten. Four horsemen right. Chaz missed the chance. No marks in 15 boxes. Excellent try, just missed the three. What a bid. Chaz, nine, 36 half, five blocks to go. Reach Bowler for the right to the finals, head to head. John Jume, nine, 62 half. We got a great game here, folks. Officially 61, we're told. We'll just call it Nate, make it right. What a thriller. Here at Cape Ann's Lanes in Gloucester, Mass. 2024 NBA. Team Invitational Tournament, a good one. What? All right, so it's a two-pin lead with the handicap. Karen DeMay's team is down two pins. And they've got two hits to none. they got the virtual lead. Kara Blinsky needs some help for a team. She has a banana split. Yeah, you know, John. Hi, oh, John. Try and kick it over the wood. Good try. Still rolling. Stop short. John. Dumay, Karen. Good bid. Weep in the five for the ladies. A nine. 
Nine for Carroll. Karen 57 through 6 without a mark. Very impressive. Karen with strength 50 through 6. 10 63, 10 61. Carroll's team hanging out a slim two pin lead. Advantage though. K fan lanes on the right. The handicaps already included in total. With the high average team, they cut this one right now. Dumay, good shot. Why? Wow, she got it. Incredible shot. Spear. How about that one, folks? Nines and tens lead the marks. 67 the ball through seven. It's getting away from Academy Lanes. We'll get an update on Webster Timber Lanes and Ron's 20th Century Lanes in High Park. We're off to our left on lanes three and four. Carroll of five, 55 through six, or 55 through seven make it. Karen's bonus still going. Eight, two, and the 10. 75 through seven in the final string of the match. Semifinals. Belinsky, two, five, seven. Wood to help. Possibly. Tumay with the wood. Good try. Belinsky for a spare. Pushes right. Karen, trap shooter, 10. 85 through 8. Great competitor. Love her intensity on the lanes. Very focused. Carol 8, 63 through 8. Their team has no marks on the left. Hard to win. Now Karen's team leads the match by 13. Beautiful ball for a strike. She got it. 95 plus 2 in the ninth. Carol chips out the 10. A close match has gotten away. And right now, Cape and Lane's looking good as of right now. Anything can happen in this crazy game. Looking good for the finals. Each full gets six hundred dollars each if they win. Two hundred each for the runner-ups. Hundred dollars for third place for each full, fifty dollars for the fourth place team. Carol one three eight nine. That's a six bucks. Need to get something going. Sixty-nine through eight. They need a spark. You're going to need a monster finish. Karen Dumay off the left, just three. Not happy with that shot, but she's on a strike. Belinsky, beautiful ball in the pocket for strikes. Ugh. Triangle holds up. There it goes. There goes the four, seven, eight. Dumay takes down eight on the strike. 103 through nine. Clutch four. Carol missed that. Carol missed that chance. Karen nine comes a big. We need it. One twelve. Final string in the semifinals. And Carol, a Paul Grant special, missed the second. Make the third. Never a good time for that. Ten. Seventy nine. Final string. Fifteen blocks to go. Finals next. Separate broadcast. Best two out of three. One string matches. Come on. No total pinfall on that one. Corey Kilman on a spare seven. 51 half. For another one. No. Maybe. Not quite. Kelly Murray, two in the four. They led by 14 on the left coming in this string. But now they're in crush here in the third. Kelly and nine. 46 through 6. Corey a 10. 61 through 6. Finals right here on lanes 5 and 6, I believe. Finals here. 3 and 4. The finals be on 3 and 4. We're going to sign off after the string before the finals. Beautiful ball by Kelly. Great chance. 4 7. Wood in front to help. 1 4 8 for Kilman. Threw it away. 
Kelly missed opportunity. No marks for Academy Lanes of Strength. Kilman takes one for an eight. 69 through seven. Another Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. 56 through seven. Especially she said 58, we're told. We'll just fix that on sheet. Kelly four. Corey to Spears seven in the fifth, pinning well. At that seven box of star drills nine. They're feeling it here in the third. Kelly, good second ball. It doesn't reach the 2-4, and yet no marks. Still, the team. Channel. Missed opportunity. Kelly, too far right for an 8. 66-8. Hillman joints it. Missed the second, made the third. You know what that is. 10. 79 through 8, a wry smile on his face. <laughs> 32 pin lead in the match. The K pin lanes on the right. Five and the 10, that goes to five, just the 10 pin. With a crack for a spear, second nine drop in a row to Kilman. Half twist of a Kelly for a spare. Who needs the one? Gentleman shot, friendly fire, spare. 89 the ball in the ninth. And they're looking good for the finals. Next on Candleton Bowling Network. Kelly, nice shot, nice 10. 76 to 9, but they need marks in a hurry. On the bonus, crossing over parallel time like Dark Shadows. Five, nine, six, ten, seven left. Fifteen box, sixty, correction, eighty-four, ninety-four, ninety-four through nine. Ninety-four through nine. With the one, oh, just was I did get it! How about that one? A spinning spare, the turnaround shot. Back to back, when you hunt, you hunt. 104 on the ball in the 10th. Cape and Lane's putting on a show here in the final string. Murray is 7, 83, final string. And eight more. And that should be a 112 final string. So Karen and Corey, the table setters, reach the 112. Ten blocks to go in the semifinals. C post on second spear in a row. Three out of four. Two. 66 half. Kedby has no marks in 30 boxes. They led by 14 after two, but not going the way here in the third. Almost stole it. Steve Post, nine. So we're up by one pin, so we'll call it a 10 to make our sheet right. 76 through 6. Hey, pin hit. Three right, four left. Seven in the last, seven last box, but Tony Fioli, 43 through 6. Trying to kick it over. Oh, he got it! Whoa! Spare, they're pouring it on here at KPM Lanes in Gloucester. 86 in the ball through seven. Masterful. Uh, 
On the bonus, steals eight, nine, 95 through seven. Can you say finals? Really a tough four, 47 through seven. Ball bounces around, won't go. One eight ten for Tony. Excellent shot. Got two. Wasn't there. The post nine. One oh four through eight. Seven blocks to go. Yep. Ten for Tony. Fifty seven. Wait, Sean, update number of the score of the semifinal. Update over there, please. How's your team doing? What's, what's Timberlanes? It's 11-19 uh, to 10-69 over there. Uh, with You're down 40? We're, we're down about 40 pins, yeah. We, we've got some work to do. About 50 pins, excuse me. Got the high average, the handicap's in. you got the high average bowlers now, so that is to your advantage. Yeah, well, so this we're is... Gonna, uh, we're going to shift over there again afterwards anyway. they got to put the hammer down. Yeah, take gonna, over there. After this is done, we're going to switch over there. In fact, why don't we just go over there now? I think this one's over now, right? Pretty much. It's getting there, yeah. Yeah, you got one, two, three. You got a fourth bowler coming up. Yeah, so right now it's twelve thirty-two to eleven sixty-two. Yep. So this one's all. Like, we're gonna switch over now. Yeah, so let's let's slide over now. We're gonna move that move that drink out of there, please. We're gonna slide over. Extended live coverage because this one's over. So home house, Cape Van Lance, one of the finals. Let's go to the other semifinal action here. We still have a lot of boxes to go. All right, we're on the move here. Bear with me, folks. KP and Lanes is going to the finals next. All right, let's get an update over here if we can real quick. Put the glasses, please. Put the glasses. All right, let's fix our camera here. This is the second half of the semifinal. All right, John, let's get a quick update over here in just a moment. I teach a carrot there. Carrot stick. All right, let's see. We're in the ninth box. Third bowl is right now. This is Paul McDonough. Second bowl is right now. Second bowl is Paul McDonough. Late in the third, his team is down in total right now by 49. And that'd be an upset. The fourth seed leads the number one seed. The number two seed, Cape Ann Lanes, is in the finals. After the string is over, sign up, get ready for our final coverage on YouTube on Candleton Bowling Network in high definition. Thanks for watching. A lot of moving parts today. Handicap tournament, a good one. Very exciting. Great for the sport. Dave Elias on the left. Having a good string, good time. He had a rough last string. 78 league goal is 77 through 9. Good for him. Paul McDonough, the father, 85 through 9. He's a mark. Good timing, 9. Got to get this one. Get it, keep it close. This team right now is down 45. Elias, 3 over his average. Helping his team possibly get to the finals. 20th century at a Hyde Park Mass. And orange ice cream right there at the lanes. Missed it. They could use that one. Elias, good ball. 
Just about. Leaning six, can't get to the 10. McDonough, all grand special, missed second, make the third. Tough time for that. 10, 95, final string. Handicap is already included in the total. 90% on a 440 team average. Elias gets the 10. Nice finish. 85, 87. Big pins. 10 blocks to go. Harry Ward on the left. Brian Feast on the right. Brian a 40 at half. Harry a 62 half. 1165 to 1111. Handicap included. That's a 54 pin lead. Is the handicap going in as we go along, or is it already in for the string? Uh, it's in for the string right now. It's in for the string right now. Okay, straight pot. All right, Brian needs some marks. And Harry's got the 110 average. Brian has a 118 or so average. For a spare. Oh, he got it! Big time spare! Boy, they did that one to get back in it. Harry, oh, right in the nose. What a battle here at Cape Ann Lanes in Gloucester. Harry, 10. 10 a good. 72 through 6 in the final string of the match. Semifinals. Finals next. Separate broadcast. Piece from Rainham, Mass. 118 League Bowler. On the bonus, right side, six. One, two, four, ten. Sixty-four through six. Harry, beautiful ball, perfect shot, spread eagle. Two, four, seven left, right side, three, six, ten. Bad time for that. Peace, try to get the ten, no. Not enough mustard on it. Harry grabs two of the six. Peace. 10, 74 through 7. Harry looking for 3. Gets 2 for an 8. 80 through 7. 8 blocks to go in the semifinals. Will it be the number 4 seed, 20th century? Or the number 1 seed, Webster Timber Lanes? 11 83, 11 37. Looking good for Hyde Park team right now. 20th century on the left. Four, seven, nine, ten. Decent wood, though. It's work with them. Harry flips left. One, three, eight, nine. It could be a four-two final or a one-two final. Sweeping wood. Can he get it? No. Too bad. So close. A little more left. May have carried. Harry for spare. Chopped out the eight. One, three, nine. Brian, nine. He needs some marks. 83 through eight. Harry gets an eight. 88 through eight. Seven blocks to go. Harry Woods, a 112 league bowler. 1191 to 1146. A 45 pin lead for the team on the left. The fourth seed. Peace. Pocket shot diamond. Only 27% success rate for Class A bowlers without wood stats by Caleb from Bowling Network. Harry, five down, five to go. Brian for a spare. Got it! Big shot again! Uncut the diamond! 93 and a ball through nine. Harry missed, but takes three. One of the three. Chris Franklin's going to have a strong half to get to the finals. Harry drills it for a 10. 98 through 9. 98 through 9. Six blocks to go. So that could be huge. We use a double. Perfect shot. 8. 101 through 9. Could use another one. He's got three pieces to deal with. Bunch formation. Harry, nice ball on the pocket. Eight, ten goes. 
Wood link four, wood link seven. Wood to help. Feast with the wood. Needs it. Got it. Huge. Back to back. Who won the channel? No good. Minus one. Ryan, 110 of the ball in the 10th. And that misses right. And that'll be an eight box officially. 106, final string for Harry Ward for Ron's 20th century in Hyde Park, Mass. I'm going to fix that score by giving it nine blocks of the channel at second box and eight officially. What a finish here in Gloucester at Cape Ann Lanes. Great place to bowl. 16 lanes, huge arcade. Book your birthday party. Corporate events as well. Tap beer as well. Great food, too. Great people. Big fill here. Looking to get to 120 with a strike on spare. Drills at eight. Nine. Nice finish. Gets his average over one. 119. Will it be enough? Five bucks to go in the semifinals. Finals next on Camp and Bowling Network on YouTube. Separate broadcast. Academy Lanes ends up winning the match 1288 to 1215. Uh, Cape Ann Lanes, rather. Cape Ann Lanes 1288 to 1215 over Academy Lanes. They drilled it in the third. Chris McDonough, 48 half. Monday to mark out. Monday to double. Leads close now. All of a sudden, it's up to 21. 21, John? It's down to 21 right now. Thanks to Brian Feast. With well, three marks behind. Great try. Can't get it to the right side. For a spare. No. Dan Corbett on lane three. McDonough, nine. 57 through six. And gains the 10. 69 through six. Four blocks to go for the right to the finals to take on Number two seed, Cape Ann Lanes. 12-19, a 28-pin lead. McDonough for a strike, Domino's nine. Had to get, got to get this one, two pieces in front of the seven. Pull a bit, half Worcester, three in the nine. Advantage McDonough, got to take advantage. Again, a 96-league bowler, Chris, a 118-league bowler. Spare! 67 the ball through seven the final string in the semifinals great second shot just missed the four great try by Corbett Ninety-six league bowl at 10 big time bowling 79 through seven three bucks to go McDonough on a spare the 10 pins added it to the score already on the bonus, but he's a strike, seven. 74 through seven. They're down 14. Corbett steals seven, wobbling one, seven, nine. Wood to possibly help him back. Three, five, six, triangle for spare, yes! Here we go, down the stretch. 84 and above through eight. He missed it. The wood help, but not the seven. And he can cut the single digits. Corbett, nine. 88 through eight, two blocks to go for the right to the finals. 12, 38, 12. 10 pins right now? We'll find out in a moment. After this bill, McDonough got a break. One, three, nine. 91 through 8. It's a 6-pin lead. The Rons, lemon drop. McDonough trying to put it away here. No! Probably need a mark on the 10th. Anyway, he does here, but only 8 standing. Brutal. There could be a big swing here. It's coming out of the last box, folks. A thriller. McDonough, nine. 100 through nine. 
Big out here. Five. Hold on, folks. 93 through 9. 12 43. 12 34. Nine pin lead. McDonough needs a mark. Number one seed. Got to get this. One, two, four, ten to advance to the finals. Otherwise, the four seed goes against number two seed, K Pan Lanes. Lead hit. Diamond plus the post. Chris has to get this to move on to the finals. No. The number one seed goes down. In upset, the four seed wins. Hey, what a shot that was. Just missed the spare. Didn't need it. And Ron's 20th Century Lanes and Hyde Park Mats on the finals next. McDonough, a tough string. 108. A 10. What a finish. 103. Dan Corbett, final score. 1240. Excuse, excuse me. 1253 for 20th Century. 1242 and 11. Pin win over Webster Timberlanes. Finals next in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going to sign up for now. Paul Grant saying so long for now. Thanks for watching this great game of Canada Bowling, the Massachusetts Bowling Association team tournament. Next. Thank you.